No matter what you do for a living, whether you work in business development, you're an accountant, freelancer, or entrepreneur, you're always selling in some way because you're always selling yourself, whether you're selling yourself in a job interview, selling your products and services, or even just selling your ideas and persuading other people to see things in your perspective. And learning how to communicate, persuade, and influence is one of the most essential skills when it comes to succeeding in everyday life. So in this video, I'm gonna show you one of the easiest and efficient ways to do an elevator pitch so you can start communicating your ideas much more clearly and get people to buy into your ideas. What's going on everybody? It's Patrick Dang here. Make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you want to see more videos like this and let's dive in. Now to start off the elevator pitch, right? The very first thing you have to first understand is being able to pitch your product or service or idea in one sentence. I usually like to start an elevator pitch with a one sentence pitch so that people have an understanding of exactly who I am, what I do, and how I bring value. And the easiest way to do your one sentence pitch is to use this formula. I help X achieve Y by doing Z, right? A very simple, clean one sentence pitch where X is going to be your audience, your prospects, people you are speaking to. Y is going to be the value that you bring. And Z is going to be how exactly do you provide that value? An example of using this formula would be I help offline brick and mortar stores create massive new revenue streams by selling their products online using paid advertising. Right, very simple. So no matter what product or service you're selling, you wanna follow that simple formula and just fill in the blanks so that people get an understanding of exactly what you do. And the next step of the elevator pitch is actually to tell a story, right? People absolutely love stories because it's a lot more engaging than just, you know, talking about your products and service and the features. You need a story that people can identify with, attach to, and, you know, get emotionally connected with your ideas. And the purpose of a story is really to make a complex idea or something that might be seen as complicated and making it very easy for anybody to understand and get the feeling of, oh, I get it. I totally understand what you do and why you bring value. Now, when you incorporate a story into your elevator pitch, it's not as if you're telling a story and then you're pitching. Your pitch has to include that story in it. And I'm going to show you exactly how. So the structure of your elevator pitch is going to be like this. You do your one sentence pitch, then you tell a story. And within that story, the first thing you want to do is talk about a problem. You see, when you start a pitch with a problem, right, people love things like conflict and high drama, right? And when you're able to start with a problem, it gets people a lot more engaged because they're always wondering, oh my God, what's gonna happen next? So I'm gonna give you an example, right? So let's say I was selling advertising service, right? Online advertising services like Facebook ads and Google ads and things like that, right? And I'm selling to, let's say, brick and mortar stores who have no idea how to sell their products and services online, but they rented a shop location, they're selling you know, their products there and they're relying on foot traffic and people just walking by and walking into their stores. So I wanna get them online, but I need to tell a story on why they need Need to get online okay and how i'm going to do that is i'm going to start with a problem so let's get into the pitch one of my clients was just like you he had a action sports shops retail store and his store was located in a prime location with a ton of foot traffic right and for years people would walk by every day right because it's a high traffic area and walk into a store and purchase his products right and for years he was absolutely killing it however when a mall opened up across town where the less people started to walk around this area, meaning less foot traffic, less sales. And because there was so little foot traffic, he was able to just barely make enough to afford rent. And because he was only relying on one source of traffic, meaning foot traffic, to generate revenue. And once that foot traffic dried up, well, he was just totally out of luck. And if this continued on, well, he would be out of business. Okay, so pause real quick. What I'm doing is I am talking about a problem, telling a story that's relatable to my audience, and I'm creating high drama, right? This guy was killing it, and then from there, foot traffic died up, and now he's not making as much money as he used to, and because the rent is so high, well, he's gonna go out of business. So the next step of the process is to talk about a solution, right? How am I going to fix this problem and you know, tell this amazing story of how this guy went from going bankrupt to actually making more money again? So let's get back into the pitch. So so he wasn't really sure what he should do, right? And he talked around, asked a few friends, and one of his friends recommended him to me, actually, because he wanted another way to sell his product and services, because he wanted to sell his products online. And because he was already a reputable brand that people knew, it was very easy for me to come in, 
take his products and take his brand and put it online and advertise his products using Facebook ads and Google ads. And suddenly, you know, he went from being able to barely make rent to creating an entire new revenue stream and completely changed his business. All right, so pause right there. And so what I'm doing is I'm telling a story of how he was able to find me and what we did to change the situation so that he went from not being able to afford rent to actually expanding his business and selling his products online. And the next step after you provide a solution is to talk about the value, right? So why does this actually matter? Because it's not enough just to talk about what happened. You have to demonstrate, okay, why should someone care and keep listening to the story? So let's go into the value part of the pitch. The reason why this was so impactful was because at first this person was only relying on one source of traffic and once that dried up, he was going to go out of business. But by taking his business online and advertising his products on different platforms from Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Google, suddenly he had multiple massive streams of revenue coming in from different directions. So if one source, let's say Facebook ads dried up and didn't work anymore for whatever reason, he had a couple others that would still be able to help his business thrive. And that's exactly what I want to do for you. And then you just go into how you're going to specifically help them in their situation. So as you can see within this pitch, what I'm really doing is one, I am first telling a story, talking about a problem, showing how I make this problem go away with my services. And then from there, I'm explaining the value that I provide and why exactly they should invest in working with me. Because it's not about just making money online. It's also about having multiple revenue streams so that if one dries up, you don't go out of business. And that's what business owners fear, right? Many businesses will fail every single year. And you know, if you're talking to a business owner that they don't wanna be one of them. And if, if you can help them create more leverage and create different ways to generate revenue, well, suddenly they are a lot more interested in your services. And this is very different from just telling people what you do, right? Because if I just came into a meeting and I just said, hey, you know, I'm gonna take you online, we're gonna generate all the sales and things like that, well, people may not be willing to listen because it feels like a pitch. It feels like you're just trying to sell them something. But if you tell a story and you first talk about a problem that people really understand and empathize with, and then you show the solution to that problem, now when you talk about that solution, people are a lot more willing to listen to what you have to say because you told the story and you got them engaged by first talking about a problem that they may potentially have. So when you are creating your own elevator pitch or your own sales pitch, all you really have to do is swap Swap out your own pain, solution, and value, and why people should buy with your products and services and your customer stories, and you're gonna be able to use this template successfully in your specific pitch. So with that said, that is going to be how you are going to craft the perfect elevator pitch. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you wanna see more videos like this. And let me know in the comments, what's your number one takeaway that you got from this video because I'm always interested to hear your feedback. And with that said, my name is Patrick Dang and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.